What's up everyone, welcome to today's video, welcome to the Gamer Dad channel, thank you very much for tuning in. So I made my video yesterday talking about the incessant crashes that I was experiencing on the Division's PC version, and some of the reports that the console versions were also getting crashes as well. Now in this video what we're going to talk about is these crashes seem to have been fixed by some rigging done here by the community, and some of you shared it with me on the video in the comment section, so shout out to you guys, I did it, I tested it i ran a legendary mission i did some control points and i had not a single crash in that time of play so maybe somewhere about 30 minutes of play or so and it was actually a good experience so apparently what's going on is we're having issues with easy anti-cheat the this uh, very silly software that comes with the division apparently it's a very weird one because sometimes some other games will install it and when your division tries to run there'll be a conflict it's been kind of a weird uh incessant sporadic mess sometimes it's not really terrible but apparently i think this is what's causing issues so let's look at what in the world is going on now, if you go on your desktop, you go in your control panel, um, I think you need to basically go in and look at, say, your uh, your details. Your details will show you all of your different apps and all what's running here in you know on your PC. And all you got to do is look for easy anti-cheat. So here is the culprit and change its usage to just one of your CPU cores. Uh, according to one of my audience members, and shout out to you, I pinned your comment on that video. I can't remember your user tag at the moment. That many other people also commented you know as well so there are a bunch of folk you right click and you set affinity affinity is basically going to show you okay this is what the you know cpu usage is and it's asking to use all your processors just go ahead and go to mm -mm, use only your first cpu core and then just say okay now i wish this setting stayed uh permanently but i think you have to do this every time you fire up the game and you're more than likely going to have you know zero issues one of my other rigs has a 4080 and it doesn't crash for some reason whenever it tries to crash i guess it just kind of maybe corrects itself but my 4090 build man that build has suffered you know the abuse from this game and has been having some issues now, moving on to the PlayStation side, I think we still have people that are having these crashes as well on PlayStation. I've seen some comments going to that effect, and I don't necessarily know, nor do I understand, you know, how this is something that's going on on consoles and the developers have not addressed it. So maybe the devs can actually tweak their, you know, anti-cheat um, parameters that, you know, that are on the console version. And see if that will probably help their, you know, you know, their game. <laughs> because, you know, at this stage, you got to ask yourself and say, yo, man, you know, it seems like, uh, you know, the game and uh, community are very committed to playing. In fact, I saw somebody's comment say people are still playing this game. I'm like, yes, people are playing, which is crazy because I've been on a hiatus and I came back out of nowhere, just match made. And I played all together across four platforms. I played four legendary missions. I played three on PC on different accounts. By the way, this is another of my PC accounts that you're seeing here on the screen. And then I played one legendary mission on console. And, you know, there were people that match made very easily, uh, you know, on these missions like you're like you have literally a full server. It seems as well that, you know, there's talk that there might be a lot of players that are still in the Tom Clancy ecosystem and the division ecosystem. I'm not going to say too much more about that. But I think this is why Massive has been really comfortable all this while. Um, you know, if you think about, um, I think, Chris Gansler, this was a community director a while ago back in the division when they did those suspensions and rollbacks chris said something in a state of the game because people were saying oh the division's player base is dead and he went ahead and said something i don't know if he should have said it but he said no we have a lot of players uh you know i can't i'm not going to give you the numbers but there are a lot of people that are you know here playing our game and so i think that's probably the case because a lot of people could take a hiatus they could go out there and play some other games but most of those games don't have that gear game nor do they have that loop that the division does have and so they find themselves coming back but that's a whole different topic and a whole different discussion i just wanted to update you guys so far on the status of how the game is performing and how this has improved my experience so far so hopefully i'll be able to jump on a live stream we'll be able to test it out a little bit more and we'll be able to see if this has really resolved the problem for longevity in terms of you know playing a couple of hours or maybe longer so thanks so much for watching the video i appreciate you guys this time and audience and hopefully we'll talk pretty soon in another one peace out